You never know what kind of creatures are lurking in the ocean's depths. Today we are going to look at some of the most terrifying ocean monsters that are fortunately extinct today. Let's get started. Number 1. The Nuthosaurus was a fearsome beast. This marine reptile, which lived for approximately 50 million years and resembled modern seals, was far more dangerous than other predators. It moved gracefully, undulating its body and swimming with its limbs, although it was not as committed to the water just like its successors, the pliosaurs and plesiosaurs. It breathed air through a nose that was on top, and it may have ventured onto land. The monster swam in the dark depths of the ancient Triassic oceans, looking like a nightmare from the past. Nuthosaurus ruled over the entire world during the Triassic era, from Western Europe to Northern Africa and Eastern Asia. Over a dozen species of Nuthosaurus have been discovered, and each one is more terrifying than the last. One wonders if this sea monster gave rise to even greater and more deadly predators like the massive Plesiosaurus, Liopleurodon, and Cryptodus. During Nothosaurus's time, the world beneath the waves was a dangerous place where danger lurked around every corner, making it one of the most dangerous creatures to have ever roamed the ancient oceans. Number 2. Liopleurodon, a massive sea lizard of the ancient seas, was named the smooth-sided teeth after its three teeth, each about three inches long, were discovered in France in 1873. Walking with dinosaurs depicted it as an 80-foot monster, but in reality, its creators exaggerated its size due to its enormous skull, a feature of a pliosaur. These were plesiosaur cousins notable for their elongated heads, short necks, and powerful flippers. Leopleurodon ruled Europe's oceans during the late Jurassic period, weighing up to 10 tons. It was the top predator, devouring fish, squids, and even tiny marine reptiles. They lived in the Jurassic seas in the same manner that modern sharks do. While not as quick as a great white shark, Leopleurodon's four broad flippers allowed it to swim quickly and capture prey. Its keen sense of smell also allowed it to hunt at a distance, much like whales do. If you survive, it would be amazing to witness a swarm of Liopleurodons break the surface because they had to surface for oxygen. Around 150 million years ago, with the start of the Cretaceous period, the rain came to an end because it could not survive. Number 3. 500 million years ago, during the Cambrian era, life underwent a major transition known as the Cambrian era, which resulted in the creation of complex species from simple ones. Massive mountains arose, funneling vitamins and minerals into the waters and sparking this incredible diversity. The oceans were teeming with terrible creatures, none more terrifying than Hallucigenia. In 1911, scientist Charles Ditt Walcott found fossils in Canada, believing them to be worms. Fast forward to 1977, when Simon Conway Morris named the fossils Hallucigenia, a term used to characterize these extraterrestrial species. The greatest fear, though, was in Hallucigenia's transformation. Rather than being a worm, this caterpillar from your darkest nightmares moved on spindly legs and had spine-covered appendages on its back that were probably used to catch prey. The myth was turned on its head when Hallucinia was re-evaluated. What about those spines, which weren't legs but rather protective weaponry and claw-like features on the legs? The phenomenon was far more intricate than a caterpillar. Scientists sensed that the tail, not the head, was the problem. Martin R. Smith, and Jean Bernard Caron confirmed that decades later, they found fangs, a mouth, and eyes at the opposite end of the creature, changing the scary impression of it. Hallucigenia was an evolutionary nightmare with its spines, legs, and bewildering body. It was related to velvet worms and even the hardy water bears known as tardigrades. In the Cambrian seas, Hallucigenia was a terrifying creature whose spiky appendages were used for victim capture and entanglement rather than for defense. This made it a true sea monster. Number four. Between 200 to 500 million years ago, the terrifying arthropods known as Eurypterids, or sea scorpions, prowled the oceans. Their crushing claws and spiny limbs terrorized everyone beneath the waves in a world empty of other vertebrate species. The Eurypterids, who exhibited a vast array of strange forms and sizes, ruled supreme as the greatest predators and herbivores. 
While most of them lived in the sea during their enormous 219 million year dominion, some made their way into freshwater and left their marks on riverine rocks. When the first fossils were found in 1818, they were mistakenly thought to be tiny crustaceans. Afterwards, they were identified as a different order that was related to modern arachnids like spiders and scorpions. One of the most well-known sea scorpions lived throughout the Silurian period. It was a powerful hunter, able to seize and dismember its victims with its massive compound eyes and claws that resembled crabs. A range of limb-specialized functions allowed it to do a number of tasks, like swimming and scavenging on the ocean floor. Their length ranged from several meters to over 2.5 meters, making them the largest arthropods in Earth's history. Due to temperature changes and diversification events, Pentacopterus, which was discovered in the Ordovician period, reached a time span of approximately 1.83 million years and was one of the first notable predators in Earth's evolutionary history. These ancient giants existed alongside other large invertebrates like trilobites and ammonites until the periodic extinction, which wiped out over 96% of marine life, including the sea scorpion, ended their dominance. Number five, Tylosaurus was a massive mosasaur that preferred to swim in the dark waters. Waters of the late Cretaceous were home to Mosasaurus and Hainosaurus, two of its rivals for the title of apex predator. However, Tylosaurus prevailed over these predators because unlike its ancestors, this marine monster propelled itself forward with its tail rather than its flippers. It constructed a formidable weapon with nearly 80 vertebrae in its tail, each of which featured towering neural spines and deep five-shaped chevrons beneath which made Tylosaurus's tail perfect for slicing through the water and propelling it forward with remarkable power. The enormous body of Tylosaurus made it seem streamlined, reducing water resistance, and its long sloping cranium further reduced drag. This demonstrated its mastery of hydrodynamics. Despite having flippers, it utilized them for steering instead of swimming, which increased its deadly effectiveness. The specialized and occasionally damaged Tylosaurus snout suggested territorial strife between these marine giants. According to fossil evidence, Tylosaurus may have battled for dominance in areas rich in food because there weren't many large prey in the same area. This enormous predator wasn't picky about what it ate. It ate fish sharks, flightless birds like Hesper ornus, and even enormous marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and other mosasaurs. It wasn't beyond scavenging either, as evidenced by the discovery of a hadrosaur. Similar to Tyrosaurus, this scavenging may have happened when a Tyrosaurus discovered a drowned dinosaur body floating on the sea's surface. However, Tyrosaurus did not only use its teeth and jaws to strike its prey, it also had compression damage on its nose, indicating a brute force technique it would ram its prey at great speeds, stunning them and making them easy prey when other marine reptiles surfaced to breathe. This strategy was particularly effective to avoid being discovered. The attack required patience and precise timing, usually coming from below. Other sea giants like Megalodon and predatory whales also shared this predatory approach, suggesting a timeless method of survival. In addition to ensuring its survival in the hostile environment of apex predators, Tylosaurus exploited every chance it got to feed, including marine turtles and flightless birds. It also sought to subdue rivals and establish dominance in the ancient oceans. Tylosaurus was the ultimate predator of the late Cretaceous, a true deep sea terror. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.